Hey guys, Bronco Carl 92. So uh, we're on part seven of the uh, leaf uh, vacuum fabrication. Um, I've gotten started this morning with uh, with uh, this uh, front panel here. Um, actually, I've already spot welded this this piece of angle iron on the inside here with uh, our Eastwood spot welder. Um, I wanted to do a dry run and see how it worked. Um, and uh, actually, it actually looks like it works great. So uh, what I'll do is I'll set the camera up and I'll show you how I uh, how I do it. So uh, hang on a second. Okay, so we have our our front panel here. Uh, we have our eighth inch by one inch angle iron clamped in place with these three vice grips. And uh, before we can do any spot welding, we have to um, drill a three sixteenths hole in the top of uh, of this metal here. Um, so I have this uh, nice little drill. I've had this drill since the 80s. I mean, it, it's ancient. It works awesome. And uh, we got our 3 16 bit in there from Eastwood. And uh, I'm just going to figure out what I'll do with my center punch. And uh, I'll drill some holes on this side. So, automatic center punch. And I did 16. So let's try to do, try to match the other side. You just want to drill until you touch the top of the under metal. the vice grip here. And you have a spot weld. I mean, it works great. I don't need the clamp on this one because there's already pressure. see we got three perfect spot welds. See so if I can get you and just a little closer.
so no sooner did I shut the camera off and I heard pop and uh, basically the spotlights pop loose on the other side and they don't seem to be too strong on this side either and I'm probably thinking it's because the uh, welder I have that's 110 uh, on its maximum setting I don't think I can make it or get the weld hot enough through a 3 16th hole so what I did is uh, on that side over there I as you see I stitch welded it I'm gonna stitch weld this one on because some of the welds are, are still holding but uh, when I go to do the sides we're gonna we're gonna try a quarter inch hole or maybe even a, a 5 16th hole um, and I think that'll help us out so we'll uh we'll see how that goes uh in a few minutes so uh yeah we're learning and we're trying and uh, we're doing so see you in a little bit all right so uh i found my spot well drill bit and uh i made some 5 16 holes over here i'm gonna plug weld them with, uh, our tool See how these look. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna bother using using those pliers, those clamps, because I've already welded this uh, tack welded the seam on here. So Okay guys, so I got this uh, pretty well put together now. I just have a couple of screws holding it down now. The corners welded up. Um, as far as the Eastwood spot welder, um, I have to say I'm not thrilled. Um, maybe it would work better with uh, doing body panel sheet metal but trying to do this uh, it didn't work so uh, say if you're gonna do body work buy it I'll try actually I'm gonna be wind up trying it on the, uh, the pickup maybe I don't know um, if not like I said uh, I may send it back I don't know but anyway I got these uh, these three sides on it's actually looking pretty good it seems pretty sturdy uh, I'm going to mock up the back doors here, and then I'm going to go grab the, uh, the wheelbarrow that I have and, and rip it apart. And uh, we're going to stick it on there, so. And then uh, I'll probably have to do the next part, so. See you in the next part.